So we're here at the heart of Ohio. It's 7.45 in the morning or somewhere close to that. And we are taking off for our first call today. It's about an hour drive. Where are we uh, going to? Hour 15, Newark. Hour 15, we're going to Newark, Ohio. On the other side of Columbus. So we are now on the east side of Columbus. And uh, we've been driving for about an hour. We still have another half hour to go. And Josh is going to make sure uh, that we're still able to, to meet. I hope we are. It's been a pretty long drive already, but we've had our coffee. We're awake now. We've had great conversation. Uh, we're solving all the world's problems in the car on the way to this call. Hi, Alice. This is Josh. We are about a half hour out. That sounds good. We'll see you then. Bye. Perfect. So Alice is home and we're going to go see her and uh, we're going to see if we can't figure out something to buy. We are just arriving up there where she's on the porch I bet. We are in Newark and it looks like we have found the house. There they are. Is that at the right place, Josh? We made it. Okay, so we are walking in here. Wow, let me film some of this. This is crazy. Look at all this stuff. And everything in the boxes. I have a pretty good eye thanks to Jocelyn, the niche lady. Um, nomad. <laughs> Those guys are good, aren't they? Yeah. George is amazing. His knowledge is uh, uh -huh. is really incredible. We're going to just do an overview of everything for sale. I like the silhouette hall over here. Um, we're just going through the house. What's really funny is she has uh, she has one of our videos on TV. This is hilarious. And then my daughter and I will come here and get this all out in the backyard so you can. Come oh, in. you don't have to dig all that out in the backyard. We, interesting stuff. Get two of these. Two big silk shades. And okay. a whole big bag of shades over there. Okay. Thing, necklaces in one thing, pins in another thing. Well, it's over there, honey. It's so this is thin. interesting. Look at that. Turquoise. Uh, I cleaned it as best it's a costume, but but fun. Nice, nice color. Unzipping. This is fun. All right. Where's, where's Luke? Let's see what we got. Lots of costume, Josh. Yep. That's what most. Of there's a whole bunch of watches. Whoops on that one. There's a bunch of pins. It's online. Okay. I have a booth. Where's your booth? It's in Finder's Keeper. Finder's Keeper, okay. All the lids, you the knobs are. Just gotta put are... this back on. Yeah, so they're. But it's treasure crap. They're broke, but they're they're in there. Okay. Yep. This is an interesting box. It's probably Russian. That's cute. Uh, this is Ansley, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. No, the Wedgwood. I'm sorry, I said Ansley. That's Wedgwood. Like, we could sell that group too. So, here's some Wedgwood pieces. Um, ashtray, vase, toothpick holder. Wedgwood. Teapots. A little bit too new for what I would want. And you know, we've been doing really well with cups and saucers lately, so I think I might try a few of these. We're pulling cups and saucers currently. Okay. I don't think I do one. I want this one. I've found mostly that the English ones do the best for us on the cups and saucers. I like the paper boy. Let's take a blue vase. These glasses are weird. They got a wheel cut in the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, this one's interesting. A little hand painted bowl. Probably like a Limoges or Austrian blank bowl here. No marks on it, but nice, nice color. Well, let's take some binoculars. Everybody needs a good pair of binoculars. What'd you find, Josh? That's weird, isn't it? Art pottery. It's not marked or anything. It's a good look. It's just got a nice look, kind of ceramic. I don't know if that's pottery or ceramic. I think it's a. It might be, yeah, it might be ceramic. It's a little both. Hey, it's pretty cool though. We can sell it. I think this is an interesting statue. It's like a lucite. Let's uh, let's buy that one too. Paperweight. I gotta get my glasses out and I can't read anything. A lot of character on A that. lot of character on that. I think somebody would buy it. Is it. Oh, the handle broke? I think the handle is it broke. Is it repaired? The handle right here? 
Is that a repair? Or is it in the making? It might be in the making. See, I don't have my glasses on. I'm horrible without my glasses. Let's try it. Our pile is getting bigger. Here we go. And I'm gonna go out to the car and grab my glasses. I left them in the car. I am absolutely amazed at how bad my sight is getting. I've got to get my glasses on. So let's uh, let's get them out. There you go. Now these are these are just readers, but without these, I am I'm doing bad. I think they're at a two or two and a half. But uh, now I can get back in there and dig through. I like the silhouette teapot. Looks like that's in good shape. Made by Hall. What you finding, Josh? Well, there you go. Two vases. I like that. I like that yellow one. That's kind of cool. Interesting color, almost like a Murano maybe, or? It's so interesting to see all of the stuff, and and it's one of these things where it was like, what do we take? You know, you've seen our warehouse, and so you know how much volume we have, but that pipe is cool. Yeah, it's fun. I like that. Oh, and Josh found another big vase. Big vases have been selling well at the Antique Center. Not yeah. Style, but it's got a good look. Let's try it. Four light candlestick. There we go. I always think the shell art is so cool. It's almost like a tramp art. Uh, tramp art, especially the owl. But that's just a cool owl. I think we can sell him. Find a neat cake plate. Oh, it's got some rust on the side there. I don't know condition on that one. Probably be a oh, oh, yeah. be rough on that back side. Yeah, I'd say we know on the on that one, but the Pyrex is cool. What pattern is that? Wheat pattern? Some kind of a wheat pattern. All right, we can sell that one. Uh, this is an interesting jar, a little humidor, I believe. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that one. And this little guy right here looks like Fenton. It's a hand painted lid. Let's see if it's signed, hand painted by Powell. I'm pretty sure that's a Fenton piece. What do you think? <laughs> it's handmade. It's all hand sculptured, hand painted. I'm torn. You're torn? Why are you torn? <laughs> because it almost reminds me of the pottery that I used to make in college. So you're saying and you're that how, good? No, I know how bad I was. <laughs> it almost reminds me of that. Uh-huh. This piece, is way huh? better. <laughs> I like it. I like but the fish. Awesome. There's a little one, too. Yeah, it's yes. got neat colors. Yeah, this is the little guy. Let's do them both. I don't know. Somebody's gonna like that. I was looking for a signature earlier. I thought this might it's probably been studio somebody's. studio piece. Yeah. I see the face right here on the bottom, and then here is a beautiful sun on the top. And then can I film the picture sure. of your brother? It's Patrick. And this is Patrick. This painting was painted in, in memory of Patrick. And uh, yeah, can you can you tell us? Sure. Well, what I did, my brother, we lost him in 2020 due to a fentanyl poisoning. Um, so I kind of lost myself, ended up almost in the mental hospital, oh, so man. depressed, and then I found painting. So what I named my painting is Purpose After Tears because I found my purpose after the tears of losing my brother in being on the streets, helping the people on the streets now because I build my whole life around everybody out there that's struggling. You, Not, you were just telling me you, you're volunteering all the time now yes, on the streets. Yes, I volunteer for Newark Homeless Outreach, Think Tank on Poverty, um, Harm Reduction Ohio, and now I'm trying to get with Mobilize Recovery. Um, so the painting was me. I've always been known as Sunshine. My brother and I, there was, we were nobody closer than me and my brother. We've been through everything together. So I was called painting after tears. As you can see, I was painting his tears away. Yeah. But now I found my purpose. So I signed my paintings, Pat, which is his name, and also purpose after tears. I don't know if you like these. They sell. <laughs> it's amazing the that the little velvet. Mexican velvet paintings sell now. Yeah, I, just uh, in case you're watching this, these lamps were all inspired to be bought by you. <laughs> all the shades and all these lamps. There's bags of lampshades. Uh, yeah, Alice has, Alice has said that you were her inspiration behind all of those purchases. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take this uh, painting right here. It is signed, and it's on velvet. Here's the signature. Uh, it's an Indian looking up to the sun here. This is just a fun piece. Put that in a pile. Interesting stuff. I'm not sure what we're gonna find over here, but uh, we are looking. This is a fun uh, vintage bar glass with the strawberries on it. I wish there was a set. I could sell that if there's a set. Coalport creamer. Um, here's the signature on it, Coalport. 
and it's got the little strawberries. Josh found a rooster. This reminds me of us. <laughs> <laughs> reminds you of us? Why does that remind you of us? It just does. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put that in your pile then. Uh, <laughs> you take seen that. better days. <laughs> <laughs> take that one home with you. Not very bright. <laughs> what do you got up there? Some Avon bottles. Avon bottles. You know, when we were little, Dad used to always say that Avon bottles was one of the first things he started buying and selling because they were so popular. Leather cologne. I bet that'd make you smell good. <laughs> Leather cologne. <laughs> How about you wear that and see what Emily thinks? See if she likes it. <laughs> see what that paperweight is there on the shelf behind you. I always like selling paperweights. They're easy to ship. What do you think? Let's get a good look. All right, let's do it. I don't know. Yes or no? Kind of an in between. I think no. There's a f tractor back there, an international, but it's missing the front tires. I don't, better not on that one, I guess. But you know what I did? I put all these lights in it and I can't get them out now. It's Here cute. is a tall <laughs> Spanish red glass vase, and it's just so tall and weird that I think we're going to buy it and put it in the antique center. All right, we're going to see if we can get all the lights out. I don't we know. We have to do one at a time. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. It's it's a lot. Did we buy it already? Because it may break if I get to pull it too hard. Josh, hard at work. So we may have to have a, a vase with a light in yeah, it. Yeah, it'll be a lighted vase. So just sell it that way. <laughs> so we are both trying to get this out. And oh, look, look, there, there, a big more. bundle. Big bundle. We're There's getting there. More. More. Keep pulling. Let's How many are in there? Strand. Let's go to the single Ooh, no. strand. Look at this. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, my. Uh, you're not going to believe the pile of lights down in this no, vase. No, I didn't have any Christmas lights out here. <laughs> <laughs> we found them all. You're going to be able to redecorate again. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Look at all the lights that came out of the vase. Yeah. We're about halfway there. A There's a pile in there still. Is that one strand? No, no. I just kept... <laughs> <laughs> we have quite a pile going here. So just a little bit of run through of, of what we got. The little hand painted box down there, the humidor, the hall, the silhouette. Um, just fun little group and my i think my favorite thing is now has to be the big vase because <laughs> josh got the big vase got cleaned up <laughs> uh, this is a gift for 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 mammal from a fan out here that's been watching youtube and it plays uh, music. wow it plays music and this is absolutely something that she will love listen love you dearly love you dearly <laughs> oh you're so sweet yeah, we will make sure that mamaw gets that <laughs> here goes josh with the big vase it got it cleaned out <laughs> that's awesome big vase. wow big spanish red vase jersey. from the new jersey they got that in jersey we found it in jersey we found it in jersey that's awesome that's we're going to take off God bless you. Be safe. Oh, and blessings. And I look forward to watching you on TV. Oh, awesome. Thank awesome. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Funniest thing I saw when we walked in, they were watching us. <laughs> they were watching us. I've never had that happen before. Uh, they, they were familiar with us, so that was cool. It was. It was pretty neat. They, they were having fun watching us, and then they wanted us to video as well. And uh, that, was, that was a good experience. And then the story about uh, Pat and, and uh, you know, just how his sister's embraced helping the homeless. And that, that's crazy. That, that she just volunteers uh, every day, all the time. That's her passion now. She's helped Habitat for Humanity Home. She's, she's done a lot of work uh, that she, you know, she explained a little bit to you guys and she went to more depth with us. And uh, Wow, what a story. What a wonderful person to be able to just volunteer and help and have a passion to serve other people. 